I've had them since 1981. Got my first one as a present. This is um, Autumn, who's about the seventh generation down from my first Yorkie. They're just great wee characters, and once you've had one, they just get their wee paws around your heart. Big dogs in wee dogs' bodies. The Yorkshire Terrier makes an ideal family companion. They're a very compact dog, but you should remember that they are a terrier. Can be very active and boisterous, but are quite happy to sit by your side as well. So they do make an ideal family dog. Yorkshire Terrier is a fabulous little dog. It may be a little dog, but it's got a huge personality. She's an absolute hooligan, but she's a great wee character. She's just um, into everything, just a, a, a character. Yorkshire Terriers, fun little dogs. Um, they have a long coat that needs lots of grooming, you need to keep on top of. They do enjoy longer walks, but they don't have excessive exercise demands. We would often rehome them as companions um, for somebody more mature or somebody who just wants that little friend. A lot of people have the sort of misconception, in my view, that they're yappy wee dogs. Um, they would be if you let them. <laughs> But I've got five in the house and if anybody comes to the door they make a fuss for two or three minutes and then they settle down and, and that's it. We have bred them in the past to kill small furry rodents so you want to be thinking about putting some training in place such as a leave or a watch me or a chase recall getting those exercises in quite early so that you can control some of that prey drive training i've found very easy um, with them i've got um, one who adores agility she just loves it and um, they're, they're wee dogs that like to learn and they want to please you they're, they're, they're keen to please you they can be quite barky in class because they're very reactive to the environment around them. So you need to do lots and lots of early socialisation and lots of really kind, positive training. Because you've got a fun dog and it can have lots of fun with it, but you've got to control those instincts. You've got the look that butter wouldn't melt in their mouth. Do not be fooled. <laughs> do not be fooled. Um, if they get away with it, they will be in charge in the household. Um, so you've really got to let them know that uh, that you're the gaffer, so to speak. If people keep them with a long coat, um, then it's fairly intensive grooming required. For um, the majority of Yorkshire Terriers are pet dogs, and I would always recommend to people if they're not showing them to have their coats clipped out, which make them much, much easier to manage. Nothing on um, the sort of kennel club breed watch um, as health problems for them. Um, with lots of other small dogs, um, when they're losing their puppy teeth, they sometimes have a double dentition, which means that the second teeth come in before the puppy teeth that pu are pushed out and um, sometimes they have to be extracted. Again, in common with other small dogs, they sometimes have a luxating patella which is the kneecap in the back. It tends to be mechanical rather than painful. Um, as they're running, the kneecap would just click out a joint and you would see the dog running three legs for a few steps. It clicks back in and they carry on regardless. There are degrees of luxation and um, obviously in pretty serious cases then they would resort to surgery to, to sort it out. Um, but it's not particular to Yorkshire Terriers, it's a small dog problem. They do make an ideal uh, member of the family, but like all dogs, they're not a toy. They're a member of the toy group, but they're not a toy and do require a certain amount of care. So but they, they do make an ideal companion in the right hands.